we are now looking at a top 20. If it gets pushed out, a top 50 card trick. Favorite card trick of mine. Basically, what you're going to do is come up and get the deck, and you're going to give the participants. You can fool three people at the same time with this one because you're going to give all three of them three cards that have something to do with each other. In this case, we'll do three court cards. And we don't even have to tell them or they could look. It doesn't matter either way. But they keep it face down because we want to have a thrilling conclusion on this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give a stack of cards to this person. And a stack of cards to this person. And finally a stack of cards to this person. All three of them get a stack of cards. And then what we're going to tell them to do is to put their card, the first person puts their card on top of their pile. They steal some cards, or if you want to use a different word, pilfer, or borrow a certain number of cards from the middle pile and put it on top. This person in the middle does the same thing. They put their card on top, and then they're going to pilfer or borrow a lot or a little amount of cards from there. Same thing with this last person. They're going to put their card on top, and then we'll collect the cards. Now what I'm going to do is start dealing cards, to, um, some up and some down, up, down. If they want to participate and not be bored, they can look for their cards as I'm going through. Take our time going through. Make sure that you can see your cards, any of your cards as I go through. Didn't see your card, okay. Let's get rid of these face up ones that wasn't in there. And let's do it again. Same way, same direction. Up, down. This is a self working mathematical trick that works every time. If you follow my steps that I just did, in the description, I'll leave a cryptic message as to what steps you really need to do to get to this. Again, get rid of this. So far, this is the easy part. We know what we're doing with this. Up, down, again. So, theoretically, we could call this the up, down trick. Get rid of these. And then finally, up, down, down, up, down. So finally, we're left with three cards. And if all went well, which we know it did, should be the three cards that we picked from the beginning.